Oh, oh no. I think the wind is just about gonna, no, it's not gonna, no, it's not gonna stop, is it, no. Gang, so, welcome back to a new weekly vlog, as predicted. Actually, no. Oh my God, it is actually Monday. Why did I think it was the weekend? Uh, I thought I was gonna start the weekly vlog on a weekend again. I haven't. It's actually Monday. It's Monday evening, in fact. Um, sorry, it's really windy. I might end up having to redo all this when I view it back later. But basically, me and Joe are going to, oh, here's it, um, going to our menu tasting this evening for our wedding reception. Um, so we are at the place now. Um, we're staying here the night as well. So yeah, I will show you the room. I don't want anyone to kind of know where it is because if anyone finds out what the date is and everything else, um, um, then yeah, it might not be, might not be. Make for a great day if any of you lot come stalking. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and attempt to show you the food um, that we eat this evening because it looks fucking insane on like written out. This wind is not doing my hair any favours. Um, so I'm really hoping it's like Instagrammable. Um, but yeah, we will see. What? We will. What? Definitely like had something else in my brain, but it didn't transfer to my mouth to actually come out. But, anyways, so we're just gonna chill out for another 10 minutes, take some pictures, stuff like that, and then we will hopefully catch you with some dinner in front of us. I'm sure I've said that before. It might have been when we were in Mexico. And then <laughs> it didn't, um, it didn't actually, it didn't work. <laughs> Oh, I'm drunk. What the fuck is wrong with me? I can't do words. <laughs> when can I ever? I have my wish at words. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you for now and catch you with some pretty scenery or room tour or food or general what you do in a hotel vloggage. No, you slept in your makeup again last night. Um, I haven't actually done this since a weekend vlog over a year ago. Um, comment down below if you remember watching that. Um, yeah, it is 10 to 10. Um, we've just been chilling. Well, I'm the only one that's actually been up for more than half an hour. Um, you've just been snoozing. Um, but yeah, I have got clothes on. Um, yeah, we've just been chilling this morning. Gonna go make a cup of tea in a minute. Um, we have to be out of the room by half past ten. And I think we might go down to like the leisure place and maybe go for a swim. Not 100% sure yet. We are gonna pop to Whitney again today, which is where we went last week. Um, to do a couple of errands. I think we're gonna go buy Joe's wedding ring because we bought mine last week and little bits like that um but yeah today is not really going to be a very exciting day we might go food shopping as well so you might get a food haul because that's always fun um and then what have we got planned for the rest of the week so tomorrow i think we might be going to oxford um because um, january time i think they opened their new like shopping centre place that they've been attempting to build for Did you sign in No? Oh. Fuck knows how many years. And um, the last time I signed into Amazon was in Mexico. Oh. To do my Kindle thing, because I had I didn't have Wi Fi on my Kindle. So I had to use your phone because I didn't have my phone. So I got confused by the stuff that when ordered recently it says delivered to you. Four W G, what the hell postcode is that? Um, yeah, so we're gonna go there, see what that's all about. This is really not a good angle, is it? But, yeah. Um, and yeah, have a little mooch around. Maybe have a look for some holiday Because holiday slash wedding, um, is in five months. Oh my god. Um, it kind of is becoming more and more real. Um, over these like last two weeks because we're doing all like wedding stuff like 
bought my ring last week, I did my notice of marriage, Joe's got his on Friday, um, we came to the reception venue last night, we're still here at the moment, um, and yeah, it was just, it's all becoming real, I'm excited. Yeah, I need to get my ring today. Yeah, I've just said that. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Obviously. And then Thursday, we've got to go pick up Steve. Yep. From the yeah. airport. Um, He's delayed. Yep. He got really unlucky. Um, his friend went out a week after him, so he could come back a week after. Um, he was due to land tomorrow. Um, and his flight got delayed. 24 hours so he was leaving tomorrow and hopefully he should land Thursday all being well you got very lucky didn't you the weather changed as soon as you left yep. and it got really shitty so no all winter. the flights are delayed in and out no winter there so I missed uh, winter in there winter yep not that it's particularly very nice no, it's not too bad here though. at the moment well to be fair we've had a couple of sunny days like yesterday was quite over the nice. weekend and yesterday it was really nice, so I'm hoping it cheers up a bit. It is really bright, as you can probably tell, but it is quite cloudy. So yours. Can you, can you put the kettle on, aren't you, darling? No. Yes. Um, yeah. I might even walk around Whitney with you today because I haven't done that before. Oh my god, I literally look hungover because I've still got makeup on. I'll just focus on you. I've not still got makeup on, I took mine off. Well done, babe. <laughs> oh, boobs. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I love you and leave you for the. Oh, hello. What? My voice just went. Oh. I love you and leave you for now. And catch you when I look less like a hobo. <laughs> Good afternoon. So, we have been food shopping. And as I said, I will do a food haul for you because that always makes for exciting content because I am a nosy ass MF. So, first off, bananas. Like I mentioned last time, I'll eat two or three at a time. Um, two or three a day, sorry. Um, so I don't like to buy too many at a time, but obviously because there's two of us. Panic of mushrooms. One red pepper, I know it's cheaper to buy the bag, but I don't like green peppers. A lettuce, iceberg, because I don't like any other kind. Salad tomatoes. <laughs> Normally I buy cherry tomatoes, but obviously there's more of them and I never eat them as quickly. A cucumber. Four packets of the Aldi long grain rice. Three packs of the cooked chicken, so we've got barbecue, puri puri and the Moroccan style. A block of British cheddar. Packet of unsmoked bake medallions. Crunchy peanut butter. Um, four pack of Ahangi's tuna. Panet of red grapes, because they are my favorite. Um, Aldi's own protein granola. I absolutely love this stuff. This with yogurt is just mm, so good. Panet of strawberries, a treat bubble bath because believe it or not we do actually have a bath here on camp communal but you know, we work with what we got um bottle of everyday value or everyday original flavored aldeo washing up liquid um because fun fact if you didn't already know all of aldi's own laundry and kind of cosmetic -y type stuff so like your shampoos and your conditioners and all of that kind of stuff it's cruelty free. Um, I don't think they've got the like leap and bunny on or anything yet, but they are certified cruelty free. Um, and the Aldi's own, obviously, well not obviously actually, that's a good point because they obviously sell other stuff in there, it's not just all over brand, but this anyway is the double strength um, summer fruit squash because I'm so bad at drinking water. We did actually get two other things. They're in the car at the moment. I'll try and show them a bit later if we do bring them up. Um, but basically, if I do forget, it is a like little mini oven. So like the size of like a compact microwave. 
um, because here we don't have an oven um, so we thought that would be really handy and it was only 20 quid and we got a two like set nest of marble tables so it's like um, black um, legs um, like on a like frame kind of thing it's not just the thing I'll show you later and then like a marble top sorry I'm very excited about that um, and that was 20 quid as well I think it was was it reduced from 39.99 it was 30 something 99 um, down to 19.99 so yeah hopefully I'll try and show you those later because you are going to try and store them up here um, but yeah for now we have a lot a lot of tidying to do so we're gonna get cracking with that I need to desperately do a face mask tonight um, and yeah we'll catch you in a little bit oh also um, update we did actually buy Joe's ring today so that is another thing ticked off the list Inside like a haunted fucking manor thing, and this is I've only got a torch. Mm. Like the doors and shit keep like opening and fucking. Oh, what the fuck is that? Better this little thing. I'm just going to shit out my eyes. Oh. Is that Alex? Yeah. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Jesus. Fuck off. Well, both doors opened. Left or right? Right. Cool. Thursday. Um, it's actually literally like one minute to eight. We've been up for two hours, almost two hours, um, because Joe's friend got back from the Falklands this morning, so he had to go pick him up from the airport, and he got in at like quarter past six. Um, so we both woke up. I'm just having my breakfast, watching one of my faves. If you don't watch this girl her name is Kim um, she used to be uh, the channel name if the baby allows but she's na she's changed oh, I am so sorry Kim I've completely forgot oh she's the feel-good mum now and she is just amazing um, her Instagram is just actual goals like actual goals um, <laughs> and yeah she's just such an amazing really nice person so i'm watching her primark haul at the moment eating my breakfast um update with the whole weight watchers thing i said in not last week's vlog but the week before that i joined i cancelled and i rejoined or whatever i can't even remember how many times in that one vlog 
um, basically because I couldn't afford it. And I was emailing them to try and kind of cancel it. Um, and they gave me my money back for the first month, which was only a pound anyway. Um, and I don't know if they've actually cancelled it or if they are just still going to charge me for it. But I still have access to the app, so I'm still effectively using it and using the system. Um, so I'm having like the same breakfast as I had in one of my other vlogs. Alpro soy yogurt, Aldi protein granola and raspberries. Um, I would have had a banana but they turn really quickly in Joe's room so they were too yellow for me. And I have just finished a cup of tea in my new favourite mug. If you're a long time follower of mine slash L Blondell's channel it's my new L mug from the Falklands. How cute. It's hey, so cool. I love it. Um, but yeah, so I've just had a cup of tea. I'm gonna have my breakfast. And I think today we might possibly um, be going to the new, I say new, it's been open for a couple of months now, um, shopping centre place in Oxford. I think it's Westgate. Um, and the weather is so nice today, like yesterday it was like in its 20s, it was blue skies and it was actually really warm. Um, so it lo it's looking like it's going to be the same today, there's not a cloud in the sky at the moment and I think it's like something ridiculous for 8 o'clock in the morning. My phone doesn't want to load but at least at 20 past 6 this morning it was 11 degrees so yeah. Um, Right, so we're going to have a breakfast. Joe is making his as well. I would show you him, but he's wandering around almost naked, so that's not ideal. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you when I look a little bit more presentable. I think I burnt my nose yesterday as well, not that you can tell in this. And I've got like a random little sunburn patch on my arm, although it seems to have calmed down now. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch you in a little bit. Such a first world problem and such an only ever going to be a British first world problem because no one else has this shitty luck with weather that basically I have nothing really to wear that's suitable for the weather like like I said this morning it's like a really nice day and it's really quite what well, is getting warm so I know it's going to be really warm later I've got a skirt the only shoes I've got are trainers for the gym and my boots my boots look fine with tights on but without they just look weird and obviously my legs are so ridiculously pale um so yeah i'm gonna have to just go with it i might just pop to primark and just buy some sandals or something just so it doesn't look quite as weird um but yeah it is 25 to 10 joe's just getting ready and then we're gonna head off hopefully i don't know how long it takes to get to Oxford. It's about 40 minutes, is it? Half an hour, 40 minutes. Um, we're going to do the park and ride because I had a look at the shopping centre place and the parking. Like, the price of it is ridiculous. So, we're just going to do the park and ride because it's like every 10 minutes anyway. But yeah, um, we're ready to go. So, I will try and catch you when we are there. Oh, look how that's dark. So, as predicted, I did not. Hmm? As predicted, I did not vlog because, as you may have just heard, well, at least the car's saying that, but what's, what's it say on here? It's. Yeah, it's in its mid to late 20s degrees today, and it is just one of those like, can't handle this heat kind of days. I mean, it's not that bad, but. right around the roundabout um in england we don't obviously have these days very often so when they do hit us they hit us hard so yes i haven't vlogged much at all um i don't know what have we done so first of all you might have guessed obviously the last clip that i was that i filmed i was moaning about my outfit so I had to go and buy a pair of shoes and of course Primark came to the rescue um, so I got a pair of those and then my skirt kept like riding up because the top that I had was quite cropped and I had to like tuck it in so my, my skirt was quite high up and then it just kept riding up and it was annoying me so I bought a dress from H&M um, 
And then we went for some food, had a mooch around, popped into kind of the more central part of Oxford um, just so I could go into Superdrug and I bought some nail polish so I could paint my toenails, which is like so exciting, I know. Um, but yeah, another reason hence the no vloggage really, because it wasn't that exciting. Um, but yeah, it was good. It's a good day out. So we are gonna drive home now, chill out for a bit. It's quarter past two, so we should be home by half past quarter to three, maybe ish. And I think yeah, we're just gonna chill out and um enjoy the room for a bit. I might paint my nails, but I might have to go outside for that. Um and then we might be going for a drink later with Steve, which is Joe's friend that he went to pick up from the terminal this morning because um, he wanted to get out for a bit um, so yeah we shall see but I don't know if there'll be much vlogging today oh I do need to find the doctors actually see if they've got my results back yet um, so yeah I'm gonna do that now while I'm thinking about it and I shall catch you all in a box good day oh do you want the light on Um, good day. It is, good day. Good day. It is Friday the 20th. It is actually half past one. I haven't vlogged at all yet today. Um, we went quite early. We left quite early today because we went to Whitney again because Joe needed to do his notice of marriage. So now those are officially done. Um, so that is effectively like having our bands read but because we're not getting married in Church of England. Um, we need to do it this way. So we have done both of those now and we have an appointment with the solicitors this afternoon to get them to do our statutory declaration, which is so exciting because once that and the notices um, are back, we can send that to Milton Keynes to get, try um, no, to get legalized, to get the stamps put on and then we can post it to Italy. Oh my God. Um, but yeah. Um, while we were there, we did pop into a couple of travel agents because we were just kind of seeing, like, trying to ask for a couple of ideas um, for honeymoon and stuff like that because we've had a little look and we're not 100% sure what we want but we thought, oh, we'll go in and have a have a word. Um, obviously we haven't booked anything, we don't even know when we want to go yet. It's probably going to be kind of April, May next year maybe. It might even be the end of next year, um, purely don't just down to finances um but yeah so we've done that went for some lunch and spoons to mull over all the honeymoon talk and then when we left there we popped into argos and treated ourselves to the fitbit scales um so this is the like most up-to-date version the aria 2 so we're gonna go set them up now because we've both got fitbits both got them, I think it was August last year, you bought them for us, didn't you? Um, so, yeah, we're going to set them up because this tracks, like, your BMI, your body fat percentage, as well as your weight and stuff. They are quite expensive, but they're one of those, like, investment things, um, like Fitbits. So, yes, we're going to set them up now when you're ready. And also, I really boringly got nothing from H&M, that's just the travel... Uh, the, what do you call them? Holiday catalogue things. I got a caddy for washing stuff and like cleaning products, what have you. So, yes, righty then. Let's have a look. Do doodles. Definitely gonna have to speed this up. P.S. In case you are wondering what I had in spoons. Um, I'm gonna do a, like I a, a what in the, what I eat in a day slash what I eat in a week kind of thing um, at some point. It has been requested before, um, and obviously now I'm doing Weight Watchers. Um, it'll be slightly more interesting, hopefully. But I had the Southern Fried Chicken um, wrap, the one with the chipotle mayo. I did have chips with it, but you know. We are going to go for a long walk after we've been, been to the solicitors too. So, yeah, right. We're in. Pretty sure it said it comes with batteries as well, which is handy.
So get the app, pull the battery tab, and follow the mobile setup. Uh, so, I'm guessing we've already got the app now. Yeah, we have got the app, yeah. Unless there's a specific one, which I don't mm. think there is. Get the Fitbit app, got that. Pull the battery tab, which is. That one? I might get some rechargeables of that. Let's see, yeah. I'm sure, I've got loads at home. I want to only buy rechargeables now. Okay, it's got a smiley face. Aww, thank you. Oh, www.fitbit.com. Oh my god, this is genuinely really slow. I think on that you can just go and add devices. But... Let's have a look. Um, Fitbit. Dot com slash setup. Follow. Oh yeah, because then that directs you straight to the app, which I have. Let's see what it says. Oh, set up a device. What tracker are you setting up? Aria two. Yes. Set up. Oh, what does that say? Away. Oh, it just said something. Oh, yeah. Set up. Agree. We've done that bit. Enter that numbers on your ARIA too. 8134. 8134. ARIA 2 automatically. Oh. Yeah, sorted. Did you get to read what it said? Ah, there we go. What what was your Wi-Fi? C two, whichever one it is. DD C two at the end. Sky. Oh, you can pick an icon. Select personalized icon that shows when you're finished your weigh-in. An apple, birdie, a little butterfly, camera. I think I should go for the cat. For best results, move your socks and the shoes. Store the scale flat hard surface. Not intended for use for pregnant or children under 13. Do not use if you have a pacemaker or implemented thing. Right. Set up your first weigh-in and see how it works. Ooh. Weigh yourself at the same time each day. During the way in the scales, display your weight followed by the body fat measurements. Do you want everyone to see? Yeah. Do you want the world to know? Because then it, it's real. And okay. It's, you know, navigation, set weight goals and then the all set. Hmm. See if it does anything. Yeah, but this is a bad time of day to do it. It's quarter. To Three, two, even. Oh, that's my little feet. Did that say step off? 60.8. That's all right. That must be kilos then. And it said it displays the other stuff. Excuse my toes. Don't sit up on the person that's disappeared. You scale users. Ah, here we go. I'll send you an invite. Okay, sure. You need to do it on your phone, I think. Alright, I'll give you that. God, that was, yeah, that was attractive. Especially in that light. So he's going to set his up. So hopefully, we're going to read maybe through a bit more of the distractions and see what it says about how to get your body fat percentage and all of that because I will do a video I'm gonna do like a proper weight loss you know series I guess um to attempt to motivate me um but it's the 20th of April quarter two okay so we've got an hour or so um yes right I'm gonna go then and I'll see you in a little bit good evening oh hello um it is actually the following Monday 
Um, I'm just about to like edit the vlog and I just kind of wanted to apologise because I know it has been a bit of a shit show, let's be honest, but it was like the first like full week that me and Joe kind of had together, so I don't really vlog a lot and kind of any time that I said I would I completely forgot because I'm just like slowly getting myself back into it. So hopefully next week or this week, well, this week or next week, um, whatever, um, will be a little bit better. Um, I don't really know if I'm going to be doing all that much um, again. And I won't be seeing Joe this weekend because he is going over to Italy um, for a long weekend with his family. So, yes, sad times. So it'll be another fortnight before I see him again and before you see him again and we didn't get time to do the Q&A so if you have had any questions put them in the comments of this video or any other video or Instagram or whatever and we will get round to that hopefully the next time we are together. But that is it for now, I hope you have enjoyed this video nonetheless and give it a thumbs up if you have subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all very soon bye bye where did i get that from <laughs>